In this video, I'm going to explain in very simple words what exactly is control tower and what is CFCD. AWS control tower is an AWS service which allows you to create a secure and standard multi-account setup in your AWS account. That is the first step. Second step is to customize that configuration which was created by AWS Control Tower as per AWS standards. That customization is done through CFCT. CFCT stands for Customization Framework for Control Tower. So as a first step, you create Control Tower, which create uh, which you create in the management account and that creates few organizational units in your AWS organizations like security, infra, your sandbox, and uh, then within that security OU, it creates a couple of accounts for cloud rail and config. It also creates few service control policies, which are global permissions which can be set from your management account. So that is what control tower is. But that is a standard AWS best practice. Every organization has its own security standards or requirements. And with the help of CFCT or customization framework for control tower, you can tailor that control tower as per your organizational policies. Now let's see what exactly those customizations are. Before I go into the detail of what those customizations are, which you do on top of your control tower. First, remember a very important point. These customizations are made up of two things. One is service control policies or SCPs, and the second is cloud formation stack set templates. Service control policies are global permissions which you set through your management account, and they flow through your whole AWS store. Whereas cloud formation stack sets enable you to deploy a single cloud formation stack across your multiple accounts from single location. So you don't have to go from account to account to deploy that. Okay. So coming back to the customizations, customizations consist of two things. One is service control policies and second is cloud formation. So the first step is that you create few cloud formation templates as per your organizational requirement. And also you create few service control policies according to your organization requirements. And then you deploy them on top of control tower with the help of CFCT. So what those cloud formation templates could be? So they are very subjective. They are, rela they are related to your organization policies, but these are few of the recommendations or the best practices which I have seen at various customers. So for example, uh, your organization has a policy that all the EBS volumes in any account will be encrypted. So you can create a cloud formation template and deploy them through your cloud formation stack set through the CFCT. And then there are some IAM policies which you can implement. You can um, implement S3 block public access at the account or OU level. You can also set up cloud trails. You can set up config. You can set up various um, security related, related services like guard duty, Macy, security hub. And then the sky is the limit here again. Whatever your organizational policy is or templates are, which you want to deploy throughout your account or OUs, you can use this cloud formation stack set under the ambit of your CFCT. Same is similar for the service control policies. Uh, for example, you for as part of your FinOps or cost of optimization, you want to prevent the users from spinning up expensive um, disallowed EC2 instances types, you can prevent that from your service control policies and you can put them in your stack sets and then deploy it through CFCT. Okay, next thing is what exactly the CFCT is and how it works. Let's have a quick look at AWS supplied architecture. If you look at this architecture, of CFCT, it is broadly divided into two workflows. One is AWS Control Tower Lifecycle Event Workflow, and the second one is AWS Code Pipeline Workflow. Let's have a look at the first one, AWS Code Pipeline Workflow. This 
deploys your customizations. What is customization? Service control policies and cloud provision stack sets. These stack sets enable you to deploy a cloud provision template in multiple accounts. And this CFCT service control policies and stacks are, are written in a manifest file, which, we'll, which we will see in the next slide. But just for now, remember that all of these cloud provision templates and service control policies are put in a manifest file. And we can uh, put this manifest file in a code commit repo or by default, they are placed in the S3 bucket. So as soon as we upload that manifest file in either of these, that triggers an AWS code pipeline workflow. So what AWS code pipeline does with that manifest file, it first runs code build, which validates that manifest file to see if uh, all the syntax is right, semantics are right, and the service control policies and stack sets are configured, configured correctly. Once that's done, it triggers the AWS step functions, which is a serverless orchestrator and runs few state machines. And these step functions run two state machines. The first state machine is about service control policies. So this service control policies, what it does is it implements and creates those service control policies in your management account and then attaches them to that OUs. And these OUs and service control policies are defined in that manifest file which we uploaded in this S3 bucket and which is flowing through this pipeline. So after this state machine finishes um, or in the parallel, this code pipeline also triggers this cloud provision stack set. This cloud provision stack set is again defined in the same manifest file. And this pipeline deploys these stack set in all the accounts. Whatever accounts are managed in the AWS control tower or use. So this is the first workflow. And this is the initial first step when we are deploy deploying the CFCT first time. Once that's done, then in the future, when all of this is running, if we need to add another ac new account, or if we want to make changes to any existing account. Then this second workflow, which is life cycle event workflow comes into play. So life cycle means that whatever changes we are going to make in the life of our AWS cloud in the control tower. So whenever you create a new account or you want to make a change to an existing account, for example, you want to change a service control policy, then you will make a change in this um, manifest file and again upload it to either S3 bucket or code commit. And then what would happen is the AWS control tower service will trigger this AWS event bridge rule, which in return would place that chain into this SQS queue. From there, that will be picked up by this Lambda, which is basically an event handler for this queue. And this again will pass it to this code pipeline, which will run the same process which we saw earlier, where the code build with, will first check or validate your manifest file. If all is good, it will pass it to AWS step function that will trigger these state machines and again, implement your SCP and or your cloud formation stack to the new or existing account. If you notice here, we are using FIFO queue. The reason why we're using FIFO queue is because it could be that um, we there are multiple changes at the same time which has come into this AWS control tower. In that case, we know that FIFO queue scales very quickly and seamlessly. And from there, the Lambda would be able to pick up those uh, pushed items into that queue. So that is all there is to this workflow. Now let's have a quick look at the manifest file. So this is a sample manifest file. And in this, we have broadly have three sections, or oh, sorry, two sections. One is where we specify the region and the version of the CFCT manifest file. And then the second one consists of resources. In the resources, we put in our uh, templates, the cloud provision stack sets, and the service control policies. So we 
pre-create these templates and put them in our S3 bucket or our repo. So for example, I pre-created this CloudTrail um, template and then I am calling it through this CFCT pipeline within this manifest file. We can also pass through some parameter file which are required by this CloudTrail and then the deploy met method is through the stack set. And here I'm only specifying an account. But for service control policies, I am specifying the OUs, which is a root account, because we implement the service control policies on the root account and then associate with them with the OUs, and that, that gets inherited by your accounts. So again, the resource file or where exact the location where I have created this SCP is mentioned in this resource underscore file parameter. From there, the CFCT or code pipeline will pick it up and then move it through the whole process. So this is how you create the CFCT manifest file. And again, it is highly customizable. As your requirements change, as your organizational policies change, you can keep adding or editing or removing the resources from this manifest file, push them to the, your repo, and then CFCT will apply to your whole cloud formation stack or your AWS uh, control tower stack. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you very much.